Hello everyone, welcome to George Reviews. Not my usual setup, I'm house sitting right now, so just uh, please bear with me. Uh, I haven't done my setup in a while, but uh, you know how it goes sometimes, and this is how it goes. So, we just watched, I just watched The Better Call Saul, Season 6, Episode 11 title breaking bad and yes you know exactly exactly what we're talking about and oh my god oh my god you guys this is such a great episode uh, i had a lot of fun with this one uh just the 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 teaser uh with Seeing Saul in the back of the RV was just just amazing. Uh, I had a lot. That was really well shot, and uh, just the parallels between past Saul and current Gene uh, was just simply just mwah, was just awe inspiring, and it was just really really great to see. Um. You know, they announced that uh, Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul, Jesse and Walt would be on Better Call Saul. And this is something that's been, you know, people have been kind of wanting for a long time. And people have been wanting them to appear. And they finally appear. And it was it was great. Uh, I honestly, you know, I could go either way. Um, even if we never got Walt and Jesse in Better Call Saul, that would be fine. But I, I really love their appearance. I thought it was really well done. It was tasteful. It wasn't, it didn't overshadow the episode. It just completely was perfectly mixed in, and I had a really great time with it. And, um, you know, just seeing them. Obviously, Aaron Paul looks a lot older now. Uh, they did a good job on the makeup, though, I feel. Uh, they kept their beanies on <laughs> so that, you know, they don't have to get into any like you know bald cap issues like they did with El Camino a little bit uh I actually like El Camino I think El Camino is fine it's not like the greatest thing out of Breaking Bad but um it's it's a great film uh I think Vince Gilligan did a good job on that and um yeah it was just uh uh their appearance worked for me uh kind of getting a little bit more context of it uh not over convoluting anything not trying to change the storyline or anything it was just kind of nice to have them here uh have them in better call saul and uh now we now we have them and i'm sure a lot of people are disappointed you know they probably want a whole episode of wall and jesse they just want the wall and jesse show um a lot of breaking bad fans i mean i consider myself a big breaking bad fan but you know it is what it is and i think they uh, did it very tastefully and well done uh but the biggest thing for me in this episode is kim wexler's alive She's alive and well in Florida, of all places. I thought um, just because Jean's in Nebraska that she might be in Nebraska too. Um, at this point, I'm throwing all predictions out the window. I just, uh, I don't really want to guess anymore because this uh, show is just taking us into a new experimental uh, kind of way, kind of a phase, and um, it's just wonderful, you know, what they're doing with it. Uh, it's all in black and white, uh, except for kind of going back and forth with the color and everything. Uh, I enjoyed the key, the the uh, different uh, going back and forth. There's a really amazing shot Um when they do a close up on the hole in the ground and then it dissolves into Gene in bed. That was fucking brilliant. Like, you know, say what you will about cinematography and television. Uh, I think Better Call Saul has it nailed down. Uh, and it's, this looks as good as any film I've ever seen. Any A24 flick or any like uh, horror film. Uh, it's just really, really, really great. And I had a really great time with it and um yeah it's just such an amazing shot uh this episode of course is called breaking bad is written and directed by thomas snows he did another great job he broke our hearts with plan and execution and he 
and he once again just delivers on top and just gives this guy his own show you know uh this guy deserves his own show for sure i mean he is just so so great and i loved every minute of uh, the, this episode and him taking us down memory lane of Wall and jesse and uh the way jesse mentioned lalo you know i'm glad that they have some not cadence but um some depth more depth to it uh because lalo is a very intimidating figure and he really just was a catalyst of a very of, of a lot of darkness uh brought into better call saul and it might not be the same show that we fell in love with but it's uh, definitely evolving into something very special and I'm just, I'm just really in awe of the direction they're going. Um, obviously, uh, Gene is uh, continuing his schemes with Jeff, and they're ripping people off. They're doing, uh, they're stealing uh, people's identities, and it's great. And then it, you know, comes uh, with the guy with cancer, and if that's right to do, and. They're just kind of, he just wants to go with it anyways. And uh, I think Buddy is the character's name, uh, Jeff's brother. He's very like, no, I, I can't, you know, rip a guy off who has cancer. And, you know, I think Saul says something, uh, or Gene now says something to the effect that, you know, guys with cancer can still be assholes, you know, point point and match to Walt and uh that was just a really great line and um it was just a really great episode I had a lot of fun with it it was a lot of fun kind of switching back and forth um you know there's a transition where Gene opens the car door then Saul opens the car door and goes into the JP Wynn uh, high school uh, chemistry department. Uh, and as we see in Breaking Bad, that's when he uh, confronts Walt at the end of that episode of the Better Call Saul episode. And it was just a lot of fun and uh, really just, really just great transitions. Again, they're not like overbearing, they're not overbearingly trying to make this into Breaking Bad. You know, it's Better Call Saul, so its own show. And it's still great. And I think it kind of overpasses Breaking Bad by a mile for me. I, I really uh, kind of prefer Better Call Saul to Breaking Bad. I still love Breaking Bad, don't get me wrong. But um, that's probably a whole other video to do. But um, yeah, just great performances, great direction, great cinematography as always. And I, I can't wait to dive into the Better Call Saul Insider podcast. Uh, I think it's going to be a really great time, and uh, I just love everything about this episode. This is just my instant reaction. Uh, expect a play-by-play, -play, deep, deeper dive. Um, I'm a little bit slower on those, but uh, definitely expect that coming up in the uh, coming weeks. But that's going to be it uh, for me. Uh, I, I just, uh, I thought it was a really great episode. I can't believe we only have two fucking episodes left. This is insane. This is crazy. Why do we only have two episodes left? It's not fair. What are we going to do? I mean, we still got shows like Barry, which, you know, it's a show I love. And I'm sure there'll be other shows on the horizon that will be great. But um, Barry Call Saul is something else, you know. It's uh going to be sad to see it go but i again have trust in the writers and directors and creators and everyone you know vince gilligan peter gold know what they're doing and i have complete faith into the direction that they're going in and i just think it's going to be great uh it might be a more somber ending i'm expecting a more somber ending than a big bang as the last episode of breaking bad was more of a big bang i feel this would be more somber more personal i think uh, that's kind of what i want uh personally but you know everyone's different and i'm sure there'll be people who don't like the way the series is going and that's totally fine but uh, anyways, that's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for tuning in this video. Please like and subscribe if you'd be so kind. My name is George Ray, and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, peace out.